boosted engines can have turbo lag, and, foot to the floor in the Equinox, there's a definite pause before the bowstring is released. And when it is, there's a noticeable amount of torque steer, because all-wheel drive Equinox is like the one we drove default to front drive by decoupling the rear axle in the interest of fuel economy. If the car senses wheel slippage, it triggers an alert on the instrument cluster suggesting that the driver switch to all-wheel drive, which is accomplished by pressing a button on the center console. One need not come to a stop to engage the rear axle, and once the button is pressed, all-wheel drive will remain engaged even if the car is turned off and restarted. Engaging the odd system also cures the torque steer, but in either mode the 2.0T feels legitimately quick, significantly more so than the 1.5T. The steering is nicely weighted with appropriate heft. There's a small amount of play on center, which can make for somewhat vague turn-in but is good for relaxed freeway cruising, yet the car responds faithfully to inputs without feeling disconnected. The new Equinox feels far more agile than before. The cabin is quiet, the sense of isolation enhanced by a chassis and suspension setup that's more refined than in the previous Equinox there is a smidge of body movement, specifically some dive during hard braking, but overall the suspension is firm and well damped, largely keeping disturbances to a minimum.